Let us now design a complete end-to-end -end authorization control for the CDS. For that, we need to go and create the authorization object for which I will go to T code SU21. This is the transaction where our security guys and the admin guys spend most of the time day in day out in your SAP project. Here first you need to create a class. So if, if I go here and I click and then you have to create an object class. So I will give a name as ZCDS. So this will be my class um, object class for all CDS access control and then hit save. So it, it will ask for a package. Let me check. All right, I'll give this package and then it will ask for a transport and then data is saved. So if I go and look for GCDS, so let me see. So this is the object class which got created just now. Once the authorization class is created, now let's create an authorization object. I click or place my cursor on the authorization class and I'll go here and then I'll click authorization object. So I'll give a name G F L I C N T R Y and then I'll say author authorization object for flight schedule. Alright, and then I'll click OK and then hit save. No fields has been maintained for the object. So I wanted to show this error deliberately. So whenever you create an authorization object, you need to add some fields here. So these are very important. So now let's see what we missed. So we need to create the field for this uh, authorization objects. So for that, you need to click on this field maintenance. And in this field maintenance, you need to add some authorization field. So I'll click on this create authorization field. And here, I'll give some name. Say I'll give FLI country. So I'll give this field name and then I can I need to give a data element. So data element should be same as the field for which you want to add the uh, filter in the where clause of the access control. If you do not know the data element of the uh, data element which you want to use, you just go to the table from where you want to select the data and you can use the data. So for this exercise, I will select the care ID data element and go to my authorization object. So please note I have used this using search help of data element. I'm not using the other one. If you use the top one, you have to do some more activities. So to keep it simple, I've used the using search help of data element and then I paste my data element. So when I hit save button, it asks for the package. I'll keep that package and then I will put it in my transport. Make a note of this authorization field. It is F L I C N T R Y. So we will need it later. So we need the authorization objects and we'll also need the authorization field. Now let's go back to the authorization object where we left. So the authorization object was here. Now I need to add the field. The field name which we just created was F L I C N T R Y. Hit enter. So it will give a country key. And then there is a standard field which is used in all the authorization objects ACTVT means most of the authorization objects and I hit enter. So these are the two fields which you need to give one for the country key where you will assign whether it can is visible for US or Germany or Singapore anywhere and then activity whether you want to display it whether you want to edit it you want to uh, you want to just view it. So all those are controlled by this authorization fields. Now you can save it. So you have two fields that the authorization fields are country field and the activity. Now you hit save. So it will ask for a package and a transport which we are fine. And then so the permission activity is not maintained. So it gives a warning saying that you have not maintained the permissible activity. So what are the permissible activity which you can perform? So just hit the green icon and then it will give the list of create object documentation or the permitted activities. So I'll hit the permitted activities and since CDS is mostly for display only we do not uh, we have not created the CDS to do anything edit although we can do it using BOPF and other concept but for our demo we are using CDS only to display therefore we will hit 
this display as the permit saveable activity and I'll hit save. Now hit the save button one more time. So here everything looks green. That means you, you have no issue. So everything is consistent. Now hit the continue button one more time and and you can just check it one more time and then display and then I can just close it. Let's revise one more time what we did till now. So we created an authorization class GCDS. Inside the authorization class, we created an authorization object GFLICNTRY. Inside this authorization object, we created a field that is called FLICNTRY and then we gave the permissible activities as display. So this is all what we need, what we did till now. I have saved the authorization object and the field name in this PPT. So we will refer it later when we need it. In the next exercise, we'll see how we use these authorization objects in our CDS access control DCL code and make it dynamic. So instead of having the hard coded value as care ID as SQ, we'll use the authorization object and make it dynamic.